Ushirika with Alex Chamwada. Welcome to the program. Today we've pitched tent in Mount Elgon, Bungoma County. We are featuring Mount Elgon Farmers Cooperative Union that supports about 45,000 coffee farmers under 18 societies. Let's begin from the farms. Meet Dixon Nyongesa, one of the beneficiaries of the union through Chesikaki Farmers Cooperative Society, that is one of the 18 societies under the union. He has been practicing coffee farming for over six years. Previously, I was employed and I retired in the year 2011. And coming home, I didn't have much saving. I decided to go into coffee farming which has actually for this last six years has changed my life. Dixon takes his cherry to the new Chesikaki coffee factory that is owned by Chesikaki Farmers Cooperative Society. We didn't have money enough to start up a business in coffee farming, but uh, later on we were assisted by the new Chesikaki coffee factory who gave us the loan on input. And that's how we picked up. The increase in coffee prices has also significantly contributed to the improvement of living standards of coffee farmers in the region. Currently, farmers are paid 75 Kenya shillings for a kilogram of coffee cherry. In the past, the price was as low as 5 shillings per kilogram. We are food secure. The family is stable because we have money all the year. We have diversified by bringing in dairy. Coffee farming gave us a plot and we have built the plot and we are doing a small business. Mount Elgon Farmers Cooperative Union, whose member societies are all located around the slopes of Mount Elgon, was started in 1981 with only eight cooperative societies. Currently, the union has 18 cooperative societies. Its mission is to help farmers in the region to process and market their coffee for better prices. We have about 45,000 farmers which are affiliated to Mount Elgon Union through cooperative societies. For one to become a member of Mount Elgon Farmers Cooperative Union, one has to be affiliated to a certain primary society. After becoming a member of that society, he automatically becomes a member of the Mount Elgon Farmers Cooperative Union by virtue of belonging to a society that belongs to Mount Elgon. Karibu society nane yote, metoka hapa chisikaki, tumenunulia police, post ya chisikaki, shamba, kimabole secondary tukwa nunulia shamba, Chemondi Primal, alafu pia iyo health center ya Jeptais, tulipereka hapo mchango yetu. Alafu dispensary ya Jeskeki imejengwa na hii society. Sai tumeanzisha mambo ya kupatia boda boda seedlings, tulianza 2019, na hiyo shuguli bado inaendelea. Initially, coffee from the region would be transported to central Kenya for milling. But the union has acquired its own mill thanks to support from the Cooperative Bank of Kenya. Cooperative Bank supported us by giving us a loan of 17.5, which we acquired this mill. They have given us also another loan of 13.2 for standby generator, Mbuni uh, Hala, computer and uh, system, and also operations, that is salaries and uh, wages. By starting our mill, we have now taken a milestone whereby we mill here our coffee, transport costs comes down, the road can bring the coffee up to here. After milling is when we can take it now to the market. Coffee is the main economic activity of the people of Mount Elgon. Well, we've got other crops that are produced around, but coffee is the one that is felt by the masses around. Indeed, we've collaborated very well with the farmers and we are very happy the primary societies have been supportive to the union in that they've been financing its activities up to uh, now. Mount Elgon Farmers Cooperative Union has an asset base of around 120 million Kenya shillings. Cooperative Bank continues to play a big role in this transformation. It's a bank 
we have brought the financial services close to the farmers of Mount Elgon, where we've been able to put up uh, Cop Kwajirani agents in specific uh, cooperative societies. Farmers are now able to get their money uh, at closer to their homes, even including their mobile phones. We've uh, uh, put uh, those specific uh, Cop Kwajirani agents where the farmer can just walk in. Along Mandogo, there's no bank around, so we've come close to support the farmer to be able to have more time in their farms so they are able to concentrate in the farming as opposed to looking for financial services as they travel to Bungomo or elsewhere. We've been able to give uh, 70 million to 18 affiliate societies within the, the union to be able to support farmers to buy, to purchase farm inputs and also give uh, cherry advances. Uh, if you look at the impact of all that, it has resulted to efficiency in terms of processing of their coffee. Milling losses have significantly reduced. Uh, farmers have been able then to fetch more money. The union being active on a day-to-day -day basis has been able to give farmers better returns. Uh, in that, and through the Ushirika model then, uh, we've seen peace and cohesion within the community because of the way the union has been able to promote the economic activity, thus empowering the farmers in the region. The support has seen the union's coffee production capacity increase. We realize the coffee volumes have gone up from 1 million kgs per annum of parchment to 11 million kgs of cherry that has been delivered to various societies in Mount Elgon. This is a huge mill that is uh, processing around 1.2 tons of parchment per hour. The union is working on logistics and modalities to start marketing their own clean coffee through the auction. The union has also begun roasting of coffee which is consumed locally. We are even starting local consumption of our coffee. Because before milling here, there was no even a cup of coffee. But now if you go out, you will see farmers taking their coffee whereby we are trying to promote our coffee and make sure that local consumption also is started. Beth Kisiero, who hails from Chemondi village in Cheptai sub-county, is one of the main farmers in the region who shifted from other crop farming to coffee, and her income has improved. All these are benefits of Ushirika. Kabla nianze iki kilimo cha kahawa, mimi nilikuwa ni kulima wa mahindi. Na kipato cha mahindi kilikuwa ni cha chini sana. Mavuna yake alikuwa ni kidogo na sikuwa nasaidika. Hata chakula tu kingeweza kunitosha. Kwa sababu nilikuwa napata pengine kama gunia moja ama kama ni tano ya msogoro. Kwa hivyo unaona ye ni mahindi kidogo sana. Na ingeweza kunisaidia chochote. Hata chakule enyewa ingeweza kutosha. Nikilinganisha na kahawa ambayo niliamua kuipanda. Nilivyoacha kupanda hayo maindi, nyo nikaanza kilimo cha kahawa. According to the International Coffee Organization, coffee in Kenya is grown by an estimated 800,000 smallholder farmers clustered under 500 coffee cooperative societies and a total of about 3,000 coffee estates categorized as small, medium, and large. The coffee subsector is estimated to employ 5 million people, and indeed, Mount Elgon Farmers Cooperative Union is one of the cooperatives making a huge contribution in the sector. Before, most of the families were on the grass houses, but now you can see every family, every house is now an iron sheet. Through such cooperation, we are going to have tremendous change in this region. With that, we come to the end of the program. We are glad you found time to be with us and be sure to join us again next week for another informative episode of Ushirika. From Mount Elgon, I'm Alex Chamada. Many thanks for watching.